Why would a Christian in Canada or a Christian in Korea or a Christian in Singapore, why would they care about me? And I say, because they love you and they want you to know that you're not alone and that these Christians stand with you. So there's a deep appreciation from Jews for all that Christians are doing to help Israel. As the Bible says, how good and how blessed it is, pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in peace.근데 총재님께서 전 세계 복음주의적 교회를 찾아다니면서 목사님들과 교인들에게 어떻게 설명을 했길래 그렇게 많은 돈들이 후원이 될수 있었을까요? 총재님께서 그들에게 설명하실 때 가장 중점적으로 얘기하시는 말씀이 있다면 어떤 것들입니까? Most of our funding, but not all, most of our funding comes from Christians. Since uh... I started raising funds from Christians just 20 years ago. We have raised $1.3 billion. And we raise approximately $140 million a year. We have 600,000 current donors. Most of them are from, 90% are from the United States, but also from every country in the world, including Korea. This has been growing. As, as we grew, the organization and the budget grew, and uh, it enables us, the larger budget enables us to do more programs, to obviously, to do more good, to help more people. Last year, we helped 1.4 million people. I, I still can't believe it myself because uh, it started with nothing. I started the organization in the closet of a friend who was a lawyer in Chicago, and he let me have a closet this big with a, a small table and a chair and a telephone. And he said, it's yours free. Uh, and today, the fact that we're all over the world, the fact that we're able to help 1.4 million people around the world, uh, and the fact that we've been able to build these bridges between Christians and Israel and Christians and Jews. It's like what the Bible says in the Psalms, uh, when God will bring the exiles of Zion home to Israel, it'll be like a dream. Well, for me, I never dreamed that God would bless us the way he has. But as I said, it's not just with money. It's the bridges of goodwill that exist today. I believe that it's God's blessing. Uh, I can tell you the different parts of it and the human action, but if a human acts in all the right ways with marketing and with sophisticated professional fundraising, etc., but God doesn't bless it, it won't happen. So, having said that, um, I really believe that this ministry is of the Lord. And when we first started, I, uh, uh, we were very small for 15 years. And then I started to, on television uh, with... Uh, 
my friend Pat Robertson and uh, others, uh, Jerry Falwell and Paul Crouch, uh, TBN, Trinity Broadcasting Network. And then we started our own television program with Pat Boone and Pastor Jack Hayford in California to raise money for Aliyah, for Jews coming from Russia to Israel, uh, as the Bible prophesied, and uh, Christians wanted to be part of it. So the truth of the matter is that once I started on television, which reaches everywhere, the blessings just kept coming in. And then we grew. We have direct mail. This was before internet. So it was mainly through television and direct mail and letters. People would come into the fellowship family, as we called it, call it. They would be blessed and continue to give each year. And so as we did more and more television programs, we were able to expand. And while we started with one program of bringing Jews to Israel on Aliyah, today we've expanded, thank God, to 400 programs. Like Yad Kashish for the elderly, like the Moke, the uh, telephone center, like orphanages, all, by the way, all of our projects are humanitarian. They're not political. We don't get involved in politics. Uh, my name was submitted a year or so ago to become president of Israel uh, after Shimon Peres uh, died. Uh, but uh, no, uh, don't get involved in politics and instead just try to raise as much support as possible and to help more people. Today, it's more than just television and direct mail. Today, we have we become a very sophisticated machine. We have internet. We, have, we are now today filming, for example, uh, for an internet campaign to raise money for the persecuted church. It's something that is very close to my heart. Already 15 years ago, uh, I traveled to China a number of times on behalf of the United States Senate and President Clinton. I met with the head of the Religious Affairs Bureau, Mr. Ye Shawan, uh, to free pastors who were in jail and to try to get religious liberty, freedom of religion in China for the underground church as well as uh, the official church, the four, four self-church, self but working with the underground church to try to get uh, uh, more freedom and to get pastors who were in jail. There was a pastor, Yangtze Shu, who was in jail. Huh? Yangtze Shu, uh, who was in jail uh, for nine years. Uh, I didn't succeed in getting him out, but I think through our efforts and my going, we're able to get his sentence reduced to three years. He's already out. So today we're filming a campaign not for television, which we also do for different things, but today it's for internet campaign, which can also go all over the world. Um, people watch us, we get gifts from Singapore, from 
Hong Kong, from Korea, from place. And uh, today we're running a program. This is still, I can't say much about it yet for security reasons. But we're doing a program to help the Copts in Egypt. Copts are the Christian group already from the first century, right after the time of Jesus. And um, they've been persecuted and gone through a number of terrorist attacks by Islamic extremists recently in their church, uh, a suicide bomber and blown up, and uh, they stopped a bus and took the women and children and uh, killed many of them and the men. So we have a project to help those who survived the terrorist attacks. And um, I can't talk about it, but it's in Egypt. So Christians, through this rabbi and this group of Christians, they're Jews, and Jews, by the way, who are contributing to help the Coptic church with security, psychological, I can say it's with psychological help for the victims of the trauma. I can say it's for physical, medical help. I can say it's providing security for their institutions. And it's giving them a chance and a place to simply come together and have fun in the summer for the children. So, um, this is done through internet. We also have a direct mail. Uh, and we have emails. We have a million, over a million people on our blog for Stand for Israel. It's called Stand for Israel. Uh, and we have well over a million friends right there. And so the world has changed. The very fact that you're here doing this in this way to urge Christians to stand with Israel is, I'd like to say, it wouldn't have happened 40 years ago. We built the bridge that enabled this to happen, and technology has expanded in such a way that today I can be sitting here by the Mount of Beatitudes on the Sea of Galilee and the message is coming across to the people of Korea and around the world through your ministry and through your, your fine efforts. So that's how we do it. And the main thing, I think, uh, to come back to that, it's not the techniques. It's integrity, and it's God's blessings. 전 세계 기독교인들이 이스라엘을 돕기 위해서 돈을 보낼 때 이스라엘에는 유대인들만 있는 게 아니라 아랍 사람들도 있지 않습니까? 어떻게 생각하십니까? IFCJ에서 그 받은 돈들을 아랍 사람들을 위해서 사용하실 생각은 없습니까? All donations go to where the donor wants it to go. Uh, we have three projects. One helping Jews in the former Soviet Union, in Russia, the Ukraine, with food, and with medicine, etc. A second one is Aliyah on Wings of Eagles that uh, brings Jews on Aliyah to Israel. And the third is helping the people of Israel. And the fourth actually is just wherever we need it most. So someone who makes a contribution to our program called Isaiah 58, uh, all of those funds go to help the Jews in the former Soviet Union. Someone who makes a gift to Aliyah, to Wings of Eagles, all of those funds go for Aliyah. Someone who makes a gift to what we call Guardians of Israel, that money goes here to Israel. Those funds... Uh, um, uh, go to all the people of Israel, not just Jews. We help Muslims, we help Christians, 
We help um, uh, Jews and Bedouin. Uh, we help 215 cities in Israel, and 48 of them are Arab cities. We do not work with or help the Palestinians beyond you know, the, the Israel. We help the citizens of Israel, and we are not involved in uh, uh, the conflict with Palestinians or anything of that nature. But we do help um, some uh, cities. We help the church, for example. Uh, we help the church in Bethlehem around Christmas time. We help Christians all year round here in Israel, and especially Christmas. We help Muslims, uh, especially during Ramadan, when it's their uh, uh, feast uh, time and fast time. Uh, we help Bedouin with all sorts of ways. Bottom line is, uh, we help all the people of Israel uh, indiscriminately. If there's an old person who's Arab living in Jerusalem, and she needs help with heating in the winter, we help her just like we help every other. But I think that Yechiel Eckstein Rabbi was born in the United States and lived in the United States in 2000. So, you know how hard the Israel is to live in Israel, and you know how hard the Israel is to live in Israel. 알게 되기는 쉽지 않았을 거다 이런 생각을 해보고요. 또 유대인 정통학교에서 예시바에서 또 유대, 정통 유대인 랍비 인증까지 받는 이거 한국 목사님으로 치면 안, 랍비 안수까지 받으신 분인데 왜 굳이 크리스천과 유대인들의 사이에 다리를 놓으실 생각을 했는지 예를 들어서 IFCJ가 아니라 인터널 인터내셔널 펠로우십 무슬림 앤 주스 이렇게 할 수도 있었을 텐데 왜 굳이 인터내셔널 펠로우십 주스 크리스천 앤 주스 이렇게 크리스천과 유대인을 다리를 놓으실 생각을 하셨는지 그 얘기를 좀 해주시죠. You know when someone receives an anointing and a calling from God. You don't ask questions, why is it like this and not like that? God sets up your life situation in such a way that he has a calling for every person. He has a calling for you. He has a calling for me. He has a calling for everyone. Sometimes people don't listen to their calling. And they go away from it. I believe, uh, I grew up in America. I come from an Orthodox home. I'm an Orthodox rabbi. I never met a Christian till I was 25 years old. If you would have told me when I was 20, that you would spend the next 40 years of your life in building a bridge with Christians, I would have told you you're crazy. But I moved from New York to Chicago and uh, was with an organization called the Anti-Defamation League. And my job was to reach out to Christians to help us fight anti-Semitism in America. In the course of my work, I came across evangelical Christians, Bible-believing Christians, as whatever they're called, especially Pentecostal Christians, and um, started the first dialogues between Jews and them anywhere in the world in history. And that was unusual for me. And that's especially when I was attacked by the Jewish community, not by the Christian community. The Jewish community attacked me for working with those Christians. But slowly and surely, I walked the walk. After five or six years, I felt a calling from God 
to uh, start a ministry that would do this, that would build bridges of healing and understanding and cooperation between Christians and Jews and deepen the bonds between Christians and Israel. And that's when I left everything. I left my job. I didn't have money. I didn't have health insurance. My wife was pregnant at the time. I didn't have a house, an apartment. I just followed like Father Abraham to the land that God would show me. And I kept up with it. And fortunately, I developed a number of close Christian friends, like the ones that I mentioned, who believed in this ministry, who believed in me, and who believed it was of the Lord. And they opened up more and more doors to more people uh, and to more leaders. And it came to the point where after 15 years of the ministry, I said, you know what, we can now reach out ourselves. We're strong enough. We've shown our integrity. Uh, we've shown that God is guiding this. And that's when we started to do television. People would see the television uh, infomercials or programs, and they would say, you know, I think he's, he's for real. I think God is speaking through him. I think God is blessing this, and I want to be a part of it. And that's how we, we grew. 자, 마지막으로, 한국의 브레드 TV 시청자들과 또 한국의 크리스찬들에게 우리 IFCJ를 위해서 이렇게 기도해 주십시오. 기도 제목 있으면 얘기를 해 주시죠. The truth of the matter is, I pray for the Korean people all the time. And I pray mainly for God's protection over them. I know we in the outside often worry more about the situation in Korea than the Koreans do with the threats from North Korea. But I'm very concerned. And I pray that God will put a bubble over the people of Korea, a bubble that will protect them from all harm, from all evil, a bubble in which when they in the Korean people ask, as the Psalms say, when I turn my eyes to the mountains, where will my salvation come? My salvation comes from heaven, the creator of heaven and earth, from God. We need to do all that we can to protect our countries, our people, our civilization against all the threats today. The threats of radical Islam, the threats from Korea, from North Korea. But ultimately, we also need to put our trust in the Lord and pray that he will protect us from all harm and evil. I would uh, want to say to those who are watching this today, support this ministry. Our ministry, Brad Films Ministry, because the more that you bless Israel and the Jewish people, I've seen it not hundreds of times, thousands of times. People who are sending us letters all the time. Oh, I started supporting your ministry with a monthly gift, and guess what? I had a salary increase, or my child got married, or this one uh, went off drugs. And, or this one found the Lord, etc. If you bless God's children, Israel, you will be blessed. And I know so many Christians who say to me specifically, look, I'm not blessing Israel in order so that I get a blessing. 
I'm blessing Israel because that's what I feel I want to do. And that's what God is calling. So I would bless you with the biblical blessing from here in the Holy Land in Israel. Yivarechecha Hashem Yishmerecha. May the Lord bless you and watch over you. Ya'er Hashem Panav Elecha Bichunecha. May he let his light shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Yisa Hashem Panave Lecha, Biasem Lecha Shalom. May he lift up his light and his countenance unto you and grant each of you Shalom. God's peace. 총재님, 앞으로 일 계속 더 많이 하셔야 되는데, 건강은 어떠십니까? Oh, thank you for asking. I'm feeling much better. Uh, my heart, people say I have such a big heart uh, that it, it wasn't in rhythm. And so they did a procedure called ablation um, to try to get it to go in the right rhythm. I, I am praying. It was a long procedure under anesthesia for eight hours. And that's why I'm here now, just to try to rest. And uh, when I had the opportunity to be with you uh, for a few hours and share about our world and our work and our ministry, I don't call that work. The doctor said not to work for a week. So I say this is not work. This is pleasure to be able to share this message. But I'm, I'm, I'm much better and I'm... Uh, I'm grateful to God for every day that I have. 오늘 이렇게 긴 시간 인터뷰에 응해 주셔서 너무 감사드리고요. 오늘 대화를 나누는 이 장소가 갈릴리 호수를 내려다보는 아주 경치 좋은 곳이고 또 공, 굉장히 하늘도 맑고 공기도 좋습니다. 이곳에서 빨리 건강을 되찾으시고 요양을 잘 하셔서 더이 이스라엘의 유대인과 크리스천들을 위해서 서로 연결하는 그런 일들을 감당해 주시길 바랍니다. 고맙습니다. Thank you very much. I think you're